two. One, two. Can Charlie hear you? Yes, he can. Roll it, take it, track it. Seems fair to me. Fairness isn't I the really issue with anything. We're in the open. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Donnybrook is made possible through the generous support of the members of KETC. Welcome to Donnybrook, a freewheeling exercise with no holds barred. I'm Martin Dugan, and I want you to meet my cast of characters. The public would probably, who are these guys? <laughs> Why are they here? Mark Bittert, founder of Business Journal Publications. Ray Hartman, editor-publisher of the Riverfront Times. Bill McClellan, columnist for the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Rich Coster, national sports editor of Business Journal Publications. The guys, so by that I mean the original cast. Blank. We didn't know whether they turned the electric off in the midst of our first effort. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm shocked that it's been on for 30 years. Nobody would have predicted this. Charlie Brennan's always saying that Ray and I are founders. And we really were auditioners in the sense that it was Martin, Rich Coster, and, and Mark Vittert who really it's got the idea together. Bill McClellan, you've come from Phoenix. We came down and did that first show, and the next day Martin called me and said they liked it, we're gonna do five more. He said, but they want you to wear a sport jacket. And at the time I didn't have one, and I thought, do I really wanna buy a sport jacket for a show that's gonna last a total of six weeks? But I did buy it, and now here it is 30 years later. I'm on my third jacket. Hold on, do you agree that drug testing's okay, Mark? Yes. I don't think that you could just go out and get five bright people and have that good a show. You've got to have the right type of uh, friendly chemistry. What right board. does he have to be on that ticket? Oh, is that another one of your famous costume No, but Vitter, let me ask Top you one of you. The let me ask what, the, what does that mean? Realize what a blow that's going to be to this wait, city? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. You know, and Martin was certainly old school in that, you know, very strong-willed, very opinionated, but very respectful of other people and uh, whether he did agree or disagree. Now you're on record, despite your liberal uh, reputation. I th really think that the success of Donnybrook can be attributed to the late, great Martin Dugan. He also came up with the uh, formula, which was, you know, if, if we don't disagree about it, let's not discuss it. There are many topics that we all agree on, like eminent domain and the use of it. So since we all agree, why bother bringing it up? That would be boring, as Martin would say. Probably make a dining book out of something. Everybody says, oh, yeah, change the show to patty cake. I'll tell you how. I have a question if I could. I don't take myself, take myself all that seriously. I've got plenty of nothing. And I consider myself sort of the headmaster of a school for delinquents. I designed the station so that people don't have to walk in. And it's oh. silly if you broke their rules. You don't like, like the rules. No, hey, enough already. Tell us what's in the details on this thing. Just try as hard as they can every game, Charlie. The point is, they're they no. calling it no right. hell. I'm All telling you, the, that the federal government is job of the churches okay. to preach that. Well, but to do with Charlie, you pray. Pray. and let's say, oh, forget that stuff. Plan going your on your family. Mark Who haven't you called them racist? Well, it could be Gotta the smucker zones or other young girls. Well, if you want to talk about cruelty, the school, you can't do it. Do it. No, you can't do it. But what he can do is say, like, I'll tell you what. Your privacy and your freedom being trampled. Martin Dugan, our provocateur. Emeritus. Wrong. <laughs> you are so wrong. It's a blast to, to get to spend this time with people that you, you know, genuinely care about. Please don't tell them that I said that. <laughs> I didn't say anything about any of this stuff. Um, and then the second is, I think, yeah, we're, I, well. They're funny. The I mean, they're hilariously funny in addition to being some of the brightest minds. I think all of us that are on the show probably had discussions like this when we were kids at the family table. And people may talk over each other, but you and, and you may get into arguments, but it was all that you were still family. And I think that's kind of how we feel about each that's other. Right. What about the business owners out there who are concerned about liability issues? I mean, 95% of the things that we see in America, we agree upon. It's the 5% that we disagree upon have become this really, really negative wedge in society and hopefully you know people can watch us and understand that you can debate you can 
argue, if you may, but you don't have to dislike each other, and you also can't refuse to see the other person's point. You can just say, like, I, I just disagree with you. Right. Right. Oh, right. come on. I'm not a big Cardinal fan, as you know. And, and How's it going to It's about the Speaker of the House representatives of Missouri, <laughs> Ray Hartman. What do you mean? Like, this is worse than all the other, like, 180 homicides no, that but occur Charlie, in the city of St. Louis Charlie, on an annual basis? Charlie. Because high-end Chanel handbags No, 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 I'm not saying that. Right. And no, then no. taken across the Mississippi. Thank you.